We're here as part of an exercise for Defender Europe and uh, we're executing a deployment readiness exercise here to train with uh, our local partners and uh, execute gunnery skills and improve our lethality as an organization. Uh, we've been given this unique opportunity to come to Poland to train. We're very excited at the chance to interact both with the Polish military and other American units here that are supporting Defender 20. Well, we, we've got most of our troops are on the ground now. We're going to, into the training areas for uh, DPTA. Uh, we'll be executing crew level gunnery first, team and squad live fires, and working up to collective tasks for the platoon and company combined arms live fire exercises. Where we'll be also integrating other units that are currently stationed in Europe and then uh, our Polish partners to continue to build the teamwork and interoperability uh, with our partners and allies. What is, what is not unique about this is the training progression we're going to execute. Uh, we have our brothers and sisters back at Fort Hood doing the same thing right now. Uh, what is unique for us is that we're going to execute it here in Poland, uh, both with, as the commander pointed out, Polish units as well as other American units that are stationed in and around Europe. Uh, working our way all the way up to what we call a combined arms live fire to culminate the training exercise. For the coronavirus safety measures prior to departing uh, Fort Hood, we were on restriction of movement and we were being screened three times a day for uh, either symptoms and temperature checks. And then also anybody that may have been around somebody that was positive was, were receiving tests. And we did leave soldiers behind if they were at any risk for being COVID positive. As we arrive here, we'll be tested, 100% of us will be tested on ground and then periodically throughout the training we will also continue testing and we have a complete medical staff to support us and if we need to we'll quarantine soldiers to protect not only the rest of our formation but anybody around us our partners that we're training with i think it's also helpful to point out that we've been exercising mitigation measures since well before the first of july not in any anticipation of this event but just to continue to protect our force and our families back at fort hood texas so we've been taking all the proper precautions since all the way back in June. Part of our national defense strategy is to be able to deploy armor brigade combat team capability anywhere in the world against, to be able to stand against any opponent. This demonstrates the solidarity and trust amongst our partners here in Europe that we can quickly assemble forces here and be ready to fight uh, as soon as we get on the ground. For interoperability, especially with our allies and partners, we all come from different nations and we have different equipment. So it's very critical that as we learn to fight together and build that teamwork and cohesion, we're able to integrate our systems, our personnel, and be able to communicate effectively so we can fight as a bigger, more powerful team against anybody that tries to stand against us. Bye.